biker or extreme sport enthusiast trying to catch the sights or tape your tricks, the helmet cam may be just what you're looking for. Here's Chris to explain the device to us today. It's a pretty simple device, actually. The first thing you're going to want to make sure you do is to put fresh batteries in the device. It takes three AAA batteries, and you're also going to need an SD card, as the unit has no built-in memory. So once you have those put in, you can just strap the DVR to your helmet? That's right. There's an adhesive pad right here in case you want it a bit more secure. Okay, so once the device is mounted, what do we do next? Well, the first thing you want to do is make sure the unit is on. The power button is on the top here, and when it powers on, the LCD screen should light up with the logo and a laser pointer should flash. Does it start recording automatically? No, it actually does not. It'll go into standby mode right off the bat. When you're ready to start recording, simply press the power button one more time and the logo on the LCD will start to spin. The laser pointer will stop blinking, and that's when it starts to record. That's great. That's just what we need on a device like this. So, how do you play back what you just recorded? Well, you actually have two choices for that. If your computer has an SD card reader, you can remove the SD card from the device and just put it into your computer. If it doesn't have one, it's not a problem, as the device does come with a USB cord, which you can connect to the device and to your computer, and then simply drag and drop the files to your desktop. That really is pretty simple. A self-contained DVR unit that's easy to use and won't weigh you down, whether you're just taking in the sights or filming all of your extreme stunts.